Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Facebook Live. I'm Frank Garcia. Today, I'm sharing a very exciting product that we are just releasing. These are our new Color Philosophy inks. I'm really excited to show you guys these. I kind I want to kind of wait a couple of minutes for people to kind of log in. I know it takes a little bit of time, um, but these are our brand new inks, and you can see here I have all 36 colors. They're beautiful. They're vibrant. Um, you can see here they're all stacked really nicely and neatly. And what's amazing about these ink pads is they're all magnetic and stackable so you can see here I could just remove each one and they stack together so I can stack my own selection of colors um, that, I, that I like so if you wanted to do them all in color families you want to do them all in greens your yellows your reds you can do that if you wanted to just take some to go to a crop imagine how easy that would be to just take a little stack and just take them with you so they're really really fun um, really versatile they will look really cute in a craft room. And what I like is that you can store them very easily. So if you stack them all together, um, they don't take a lot of space. And um, imagine just having this, just kind of stacked in your room very nicely. And what I love is it has this label, so you can take a look what colors you have. It just kind of makes it easy to just kind of see what's in front of you. So if you needed a red or you needed a yellow, you needed a blue, you could just kind of check out the different colors and um, move very quickly. And you can see that when you open it up, the actual lid is also magnetic. So it stays together. So for those of you guys that love throwing your ink pads in your purse, hello, this is like the best thing ever. And by the way, Mariana is here filming. If you guys have any questions or want to see something up close, let her know. Hi, Mariana. Hi. And um, so yeah, so the magnetic lid is awesome. And then the magnetic bottom allows you to stick it down to the next ink pad so that it's just perfect. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple of things you could do with these. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And there's so many beautiful colors. And I just kind of want to go through the colors real quick so you guys could see. Um, so um, there's obviously a lot of different colors um but for example this one's sea breeze very nice color and what i like about all these ink pads is that they have a fabric lining so the fabric lining allows you to have an even distribution of ink and also apply it very evenly if you wanted to do direct to paper or direct to surface it's very easy to do that and it kind of create an even distribution but also you can use blending tools you can use stamps on here and you can even apply it directly onto your surface if you wanted to so it's really nice and it's raised so you have a raised um, ink felt uh, top so that makes it easy and then like I said it's magnetic so this is wasabi fun color peony then we have sassy rouge for you guys that like the reds hot lips I think this is one of my favorites <laughs> This is burnt sienna, and you guys know I love my browns, and I'm going to kind of keep the browns on the side because I want to kind of show you guys how beautiful those are. This is chocolate, so this is like a nice dark brown. So if you guys like edging your papers or creating vintage effects, this is a beautiful one for that. Adobe House is nice. Then we have sepia, which is also nice. And you can see that <laughs> it just kind of magnetizes and it just kind of does its own thing. You don't even have to do anything. Um, summer Vibes, very cute. Love this color for summer. Frosting, very cute as well. Soft lilac. Then we have amethyst, which is really pretty. Bora Bora, and this one kind of goes well with uh, Sea Breeze. Then we have Private Lagoon. Those names are just so cute. Then this is Electric Purple. Very nice. Flamingo. We have Mermaid Hair. Carrot. Then we also have a couple more here. We have Midnight Blue. Bear, look at this color, how beautiful that is. Love that. Warm gray. Then we have fruit punch. Hydrangea petals. Linen. I know, there's a lot of colors. And you know, it's gonna be really hard, guys, to just buy one. You wanna, you're gonna want them all. And what I love about these, that these don't come in sets. They come individual. So if you wanted to just buy your favorite colors, you could do that. If you wanted to buy them all, you could do that. So that's the amazing part of these um, ink pads. You could just buy them open stock. Um, this one's called Potion. This one's really cool for Halloween and stuff. And then this is um, Chat Noir. This is um, a black. So this one's really good for stamping if you like stamping. Um, and then this here is Sea Glass. Look at that pretty color. It's almost like a mint. Very beautiful. This is Atlas Blue. There's Truffle. Nice gray. Apricot. And then we have the last set here. Enchanted Woods. Poison Love. That's beautiful. Foggy Nights, and then we have Lemonade and 
brunch sangria. My favorite. I know, brunch <laughs> sangria, the I, best for last. I named them all. <laughs> These are really fun names. So, um, so again, you can do so much with them. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you guys that you can do some stamping on this. So you can see how nice they stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and take Chat Noir, which is a black. You can use any color that you like. And you can use this ink with uh, rubber stamps, clear stamps, anything that you like. I'm just going to take a wood block stamp and I'm just going to go ahead and apply my ink. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp. And you can see that gives you a really nice impression. The ink is really even. It's really nice. And you can use, like I said, any clear or um, any uh, rubber stamps, which is what I used here. Okay. And um, what I like, again, is it's because of that raised uh, pad, it's very easy to access. Now, um, you can go ahead and take that same tag, and because it's a raised felt, you can go in and ink the edges, if you like. So if, I, if you just want to ink the paper, and I do this on all of my mini albums, I like just inking the paper edges. You can just go ahead and ink the edges. And then you can see, because it's even distribution of ink, it really creates a really nice edge. Okay, and you don't get any rough edges on the edges, which, you know, I have, that's my biggest pet peeve, getting rough edges. You can have blending with a matte. Yeah. Maybe you should do another color. Okay, let me try a different color here. I think I'll try this one. Yeah, that'll be nice. I'll just take a different one. There we go. That, that's pretty. Is that pretty? And this is Bora Bora, very nice color. So again, you could do some edging, you could do some stamping. And I'm gonna take um, some colors here. I'm gonna take um, Chocolat and Burnt Sienna. Those are some of my nice uh, favorite colors because you guys know I love my browns. So I'm gonna take these colors here and I'm gonna do some blending. So um, these colors are really great on their own um, to do blending. I'm gonna take just a little bit of the Burnt Sienna and you can see right away it blends really nicely. And it distributes ink really nicely onto your surface so if you like blending techniques these inks work really well and all of these inks are um, water-based so that means that they will have um, react properties okay so you can see right here this is the top and then if you're wondering if they blend with other colors yes they do I'm gonna take my chocolate down here and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in and it's a seamless blend so you can see here how nice that works Sandra would like to know if we're going to use them at Art Venture. She's we are. We will be using them at Art Venture, which I'm really excited. See how nice that looks? Don't you love that? Now, if you wanted to just have, you know, any spray on here or anything like that, it'll kind of lift up a little bit because it is water-based. So it allows you to do all kinds of techniques. With, with that being said, for example, if I wanted to take, um, let's say, Summer Vibes, okay? I'm going to take an acrylic block or any sort of, uh, you know, non porous surface, and I'm going to just put some of this ink on here, okay? And I can take my Prima water pen, okay? And I'm just going to take some watercolor paper, and I'm just going to add a little bit of water onto this, okay? And you can see that it gives you a really nice watercolor effect because it is reactive with water so you can go in and watercolor your favorite stuff and see how it just blends really nicely okay you can go from light to dark you can create gradients and um, I just want to show you here one of our um, in-house artists um, her name is Molly she created this beautiful uh, coloring page with our new uh, Prima Princess coloring book you can see this Prima Princess coloring book that we just released you can use anything on this uh, coloring book but she went ahead and used the inks here and you can see here's some of the electric purple we have a little bit of the peony a little bit of the amethyst and you can see how beautiful that turns out even these little specks of color if you picked up enough in your brush you could just speck it on there and look at how beautiful those easels are and it makes it really easy because you have so many options in color also if you'd like to do stamp on stamping like layered stamps um, those work well because you need so many gradients this will work really well here's another example here that we just did this morning we just colored in a couple of the flowers from the coloring book filled in with a couple of the inks and you can see how nice that shows up so again 
lots of different techniques that you could do. Uh, these are perfect for mixed media, so if you guys love doing mixed media, these are great. Or just having them look pretty in your craft room. We all know we love collecting stuff, so I love that. Now, any questions that you guys have on any Chelo, of these? Um, she's asking if she said in Spanish, que bonitos colores hay purpura? Is there purple? Yes, there is purple. So we have amethyst. Right here you can see. Let me show you here real quick. We have amethyst. We have electric purple, which this one's kind of like a, a like a middle ground between blue and uh, purple, which is a really nice color. And we have the uh, poison love. Yeah, we have poison love, which I kind of want to show you because it's really pretty. Let me just clean off my little acrylic block here. And I'm just gonna put some. Uh, poison love in there and this is a really pretty color especially if you guys love halloween or like anything to do with dia de los muertos or anything like that this is a really nice color donet donera um she asked would you, will these be good to use in your planner yes yeah, so you can use these um for the stamps if you wanted to if you wanted to stamp in your planner look at that pretty color love that um you can use them in your planner so you can use them to stamp i love these because like i said they're really easy to carry so if you just grab a stack of your favorite colors you could just take them with you anywhere you go um but yes these would be great for stamping in your planner um these would be great for coloring if you like coloring like i said in the coloring books um a lot of people want products that are versatile and i think that's why we decided to do these the way we did because you, if you wanted to color in your coloring book, you could either do pencils or watercolor, but those types of products are good for maybe a couple of purposes. But this, this is a really versatile product because not only can you use it for stamping, but you could also use it for coloring, you can use it for blending, you can use it for so many things. So that's what I love about these. Um, but let me see if we have any other purples because someone was still looking. Oh, the brunch sangria, that's your favorite. Oh yeah. You forgot about that one. But that one's more of a... Oh, like a burgundy. Yeah, let me see. I want to kind of That's really pretty. Up. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? Keep them coming. These are great questions. Look how beautiful that is. It's almost like a wine color. Isn't that pretty? I You're love asking that. asking how soon will these be available? These are actually... Um, the stores already got the information, so these will actually be shipping out um, January... The beginning of January. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking like the first the week. Other fifth. Yeah, or the 5th, yes, um, of January. And um, they'll be in stores pretty soon. So if you guys have a store nearby that um, carries Prima or that um, carries some of our products, just let them know that they're available for pre-order. Um, and again, they can carry the whole line or they can carry your favorite colors. I mean, obviously, people are going to want the whole line because it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But um, see, I just want to stamp a little bit with um, Potion and see what that looks like. And again, you can mix colors. That's a really nice, kind of like a gray-ish, like stone color. Let's see how this one looks. Do we love these guys? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. I want to know what you guys think about these because I am in love and I can't wait to collect them all. I am dying to just have my own little set. You can see here. That's brunch sangria. That's pretty. Not pretty. Mm-hmm. Love, love, love. Let me clean this off and just try one more color. I mean, there's so many pretty colors. This is apricot. Let me try this one. Now, um, I, I know some of you might be wondering, and I will probably answer this um, a little bit later, but we are going to possibly have um, re-inkers just for these, because these are dye inks, so if you're gonna be using them often, it's good to have um, that option, so. I'll be finding out for you guys. And these are, this is the apricot color. Just had a little bit of that other color left over, but look how pretty that looks. You can see the nice uh, even stamping Tiffany on Tiffany said that her favorite is a sea glass. Sea glass is really cute. I think that's your favorite too, isn't it? Oh no, yours is brunch sangria. Let me try that color here real quick. Just gonna clean off my stamp. Hola Nancy, she's from Mexico. Hi Nancy. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's really awesome product. Um, these are going to be, I believe, eight dollars um retail. I think they're about eight dollars. Um, 
and um, they're really competitive pricing and like I said because it is stackable and it is magnetic it does have a bit of a different um, you know storage option you don't have to buy a special box or anything like th like that for this you could just stack them up in your craft room and someone asked me well how tall or how high can you stack them I mean you can go as high as you like I mean look how pretty that looks um, I just like how they all look I mean obviously this isn't a you wouldn't want to stack them too high but I mean since they're all magnetic they just kind of stack Sandra would like to see the pink well, which pink is it? Which pink? There is a lot of different <laughs> ones. Yes. Which one did you want to see, Sandra? There is a pretty self lilac. There's frosting. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. I love that one. But look at how pretty these will look in your craft room. All stacked and neat. And they're out of the way. They don't take a lot of room. And you just can organize them however you want. I could totally see someone organizing these by color family. That would be really cute. And again, you just throw them in your purse or your bag and you're ready to go. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick uh, uh, sneak peek of these ink pads. Again, they will be shipping um, the beginning of January, so make sure you look for them in your stores. Um, some stores I've seen online um, already have placed orders and are opening up pre-orders. So if you guys love these, let us know. We're also going to have a, a giveaway, so make sure you comment below. Um, we're going to pick a winner um in the comments and um yeah just let us know what you love about these inks uh what you would do with these inks and how many would you collect okay mm -hmm. so thank you mariana for uh filming today and if you guys have any more questions let us know and have a wonderful weekend they Bye, wanted guys. to see the pink though oh they did <laughs> yeah oh sorry i didn't want to interrupt sorry Hot. she I wanted forgot. to see the frosting oh okay and then somebody wanted to see the gray well which gray there's a couple of them <laughs> Maybe the. Let me open this. Ooh, the truffle. Here. Let me try this uh, frosting here. This is a really pretty one. It's almost like a hot pink. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's pretty. I like that. It's really nice. Which other color do you guys want to check out here? The gray, dark gray. So mm. The truffle? oh, we did have potion here. This is oh, like a potion. dark. This is like a yeah. dark gray. It's almost like a black. Um, I mean, we could try the truffle. That one will be cute. The pink is pretty. It is. Let me try that. I'm gonna, oops, oops. I'm gonna put it on this tag here. So you guys can see it. That's truffle. And you can see there's a, a big, a big um, variety here of layering. So if you wanted to layer colors together, or, or like I said, if you do layered stamps, these are great for layered stamps because there's so many different gradients of colors that you can actually layer on top of. So pretty. It is pretty. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Again, leave a comment below if you want to be entered into the giveaway. And then we'll catch you guys next time, okay? Thank you. Have a good weekend.